Well, what's up, everybody? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you some sweet shit about your scopes that you may not have known. So if not, I hope this helps you quite a bit. And if you already knew, you already knew. So here is my must cam. Uh, it works the same as all of the other ones that we all have. The the Dynascope, the, the USB pluggables, all of them. Who knows? We can see. I'm I'm real close to my coin. Uh, if you take off your clear lens, you get more playroom. Uh, I have mine turned all the way that direction. My little dial. And as you can see, I see something of interest, but I can't really I can't really commit to saying which you know exactly what variety it may be so I'm gonna turn my dial this direction and as long as you're within this little range uh, you gotta be within I would say two inches of your object that you're trying to scope as long as you're within that range you will be able to get a second spot where your lens will focus in that allows you to search the coin at one distance for speed and then when you see something of interest zoom in to confirm because when you're scoping at this this point it makes it real difficult and disorienting when you're any closer than this because uh, you can yeah you'd be surprised the range that you have once you start using this little feature so I rock this this distance do what I got to do find something that makes me go oh well, that's suspicious and then I don't have to move my scope up or down in any way I just have to turn my dial uh, your sweet spot is a bit tighter on this this level I'll say uh, you get less range before it blurs out on you but hopefully this helps and by the way we're looking at an RPM on a 1964 Roosevelt and I found that out due to that little piece of fun fact. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.